Hi, this is Scott Muni, and welcome to the 20 years of WNEW-FM. For the next four hours, we'll be reliving some of the highlights of our two decades as New York's premier rock radio station. Throughout these 20 years, WNEW-FM has been there for every major rock event, from Woodstock to Live Aid, from the closing of the Fillmore to Bruce Springsteen opening at the Meadowlands. We've been there. So get ready. We're underway. We're going back in time. Free at last! Free at last! Thanks to the Senator Kennedy has been... Senator Kennedy has been shot. Is that possible? Is that possible? It's the... Is it possible, ladies and gentlemen? It is possible. He has... Not only Senator Kennedy, oh my God. Be remembered simply as a good and decent man who saw wrong and tried to right it, saw suffering and tried to heal it, saw war and tried to stop it. I see the moon good evening, my fellow Americans. Let us go to the map again. <laughs> difficult to communicate across the gulf of five years of war. But the time has come to end this war. Does anybody really know what time it is? These are the times that try men's souls. About 20 of them, the whole regiment kind of lowered their guns and opened fire. on the morning of July 16th, 1969. Astronauts report it feels good. Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. WNEW-FM was born in the fire of the 60s. The station came along at a time in our history when young people were beginning to have an unprecedented impact on American culture and society. FM radio became their main medium of expression. It provided news, information, companionship, but most of all, it provided rock and roll. And one by morning, she puts on a New York station, you know she don't believe. By 1967, it was abundantly clear that rock and roll was taking on a larger and larger significance in the lives of American young people. The civil rights movement, anti-Vietnam War sentiment, free speech, students' rights, the sexual revolution, all of these causes found their anthems in the rhythms and rhetoric of rock. And it's one, two, three, what are we fighting for? Don't ask me, I don't give a damn. WNEW-FM became a refuge for all the exciting, wildly experimental music that was being virtually ignored by the safe, unadventurous AM radio band. The songs waiting to be heard beyond the limited content of the top 40 were exotic, seductive, challenging, and constantly stretching the boundaries of contemporary popular music. We want the world and we want it. We want the world. But it wasn't just the music that made WNEW-FM special. It was the presentation. The original air staff included as diverse and sophisticated a group of professionals 
that has ever been assembled at one radio station. And it all began exactly 20 years ago this moment at 7.05 p.m. on October 30th, 1967, as a fellow named Roscoe hit the airwaves. Want to take a mind excursion? The hippest of all trips. The return to reality. Join me, Roscoe, in Metro Media Stereo. of April, 1968. Jonathan Schwartz here in a new groove. The new groove, WNEWFM. WNEWFM. Now we begin a special series of programs for this week, at this time, from uh, 2 to 3 p.m. Each day we'll cover a subject in songs written by some of the best of today's writers, our poets. We ask you to listen today especially to the words, not necessarily uh, arrangements or music, but to what the poets are saying. These, then, are the thoughts of the writers and their stories of being in love. You might wake up some morning To the sound of something moving past your window in the wind I chase the bright elusive butterfly of love. The cockroach that ain't sent so naughty. Bowdy! Well, <laughs> well, I don't know about the cockroach ain't sent so naughty, but uh, there's a few of them in my neighborhood. There's a few in my kitchen, as a matter of fact. <laughs> They're getting bolder. They're getting bolder, those cockroaches. They know we're not going to defeat them. <laughs> 